Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial about Home Assistant. In this recent video I introduced the automation to get the wait travel time automatically updates on working days in the morning and afternoon. The video is linked from your screen. Since the local calendar feature has been delivered as well as the possibility to create events using the specific service calendar.createvent, I thought of optimizing the previous functionality by making it smarter, excluding the updates when I'm working from home. Considering I already had the local calendar configured, I decided to use it to have evidence of the days when I work from home so that when the smart working event starts, the automation related to the ways updates must be automatically disabled. I created this automation, but unfortunately, I ran into an issue with the calendar events not triggering. Regardless of the present issue, that I hope it will be resolved as soon as possible, in this video I want to show you how I wrote the automation in charge of checking the calendar and disabling the wait updates how it works, or let me say, doesn't work, just creating some smart working events. Are you ready to go? This is the automation to check my local smart working calendar. There are two triggers. The first one for the smart working event starts. And the second one for the smart working event ends. This is the condition to check that the local calendar events are related to my smart working days. This is the action section where there are two different actions. The first one is in charge to disable the wait update automation as soon as the smart working event starts and the second one is in charge to re-enable the wait update automation as soon as the smart working event ends. Now let's give a try. I'm going to create a new smart working event at 5.52 p.m. to 5.53 p.m. Okay, now just wait for the time. Okay, nothing happens from the from this uh, automation point of view, nothing has been triggered. And just going to check the other automation to be disabled. It is still reported as enabled. Now let's wait for the smart working event ends. The automation should be already triggered, but nothing happened. Just for completeness of information, I point out that every time an automation is triggered, the triggered alert should be reported here. I hope you have enjoyed this new tutorial. Don't hesitate to leave a comment in case of doubts and do not forget to subscribe 
to my channel to stay up to date on all the new upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.